Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today we're going to do a one-day follow-up on the LG Ally. So uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. And you can see it's pretty slow. I'll tell you my initial impressions is this phone is last gen and slow. So that's my take on it, but from what I understand it is very reasonably priced. So if you're in a budget crunch there. Now my take is if you can afford the data plan you should go with the best phone you can afford. Um, don't skimp on it just because you're going to end up paying more on the data plan than you are for the phone. And in the long run you could sell your phone for probably a decent amount depending on how good it is. So there we go. Kind of a random sound once it's booted up but here we are. Main interface. Let's go ahead and unlock it. You can see it's kind of slow response. There we go. So here's the main interface on the front. Go ahead and hit the center. It zooms in, zooms out, kind of like the Nexus One. See how slow it is? This is on a first boot up. Um, it's a little bit choppy. Now I'm not saying it's not functional. It just feels like a last gen phone. Uh, basically because it is. This does not have a gigahertz processor in it. But see how slow it is. Now let's go home or to the home button here. There, and you kind of have to push it pretty good to, to get that to work. So let's scroll from side to side, and I'll show you that. So how's that little bit of chop there? Yeah, there we go. Now to give you a comparison, I have the Fascinate here. Let's unlock that. And you can see it's nice and smooth, and it responds very well. Where this one, like I said, is last gen doesn't respond as, as great. Now like I said it's definitely functional but we've just moved on from this this sort of um, Android phone. This is last gen or last year really it's not that long ago um, but it works fine and if you were to compare this to something like the G1 or something uh, along the lines of the 600 megahertz type style you're gonna get similar results so it's definitely functional but the screen is is tiny so as you can see again this is four inch I think this is 3.2 if I remember pr uh, correctly now let's go to the browser and we'll check that out so I can show you and let's load um, well, let's load my site here Zolotech and it's actually not too bad speed-wise uh, loading websites and things um, but it just feels a little bit sluggish overall now if you've never had a smartphone um, and you really like this as opposed to something like the droid 2 um, well I don't think you're gonna be disappointed but you are gonna notice a difference if you're coming from something uh, you know with one gigahertz you wouldn't want to step back so, so you can see it's pretty fast it does have pinch to zoom and that responds pretty well, but you can see there's kind of like a little bit of a delay there. Whereas, let me show you on the Fascinate here. Let's go into the browser. Always auto loads. Uh, there we go. Go to my site. And we'll wait for that to load. Oh, and I'm on 3G with one bar. That's why it's kind of slow on Wi-Fi with the uh, Ally. So let's go ahead, pinch to zoom. You can see it's really quick, responsive. We're on this. It's okay, but it does feel like it doesn't respond to your fingers right away. So uh, you may want to consider that. If that's not a factor for you, great. Uh, it, it may not be a bad choice. Now, you do have some convenient features uh, that they seem to be putting on most Android phones now, where you can adjust the brightness real quick. So that's full bright. That's as dim as it gets. And you can see the screen a little bit better, uh, I think. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, wash out the screen here. So you can see the response is pretty good when you flip it sideways. Now it goes back. Little bit delay. Um, overall, though, it's your standard stock Android. So uh, I prefer this, this Fascinate. Obviously, it's a nicer, faster phone. Um, it's tough to kind of go back to this. However, for a first-time user, like I said, it would be pretty good. Um, you know, this is just the stock setup. I haven't really loaded anything on here. You have your standard widgets. Nothing really fancy on here that LG's done. Kind of just loaded stock Android 2.1. Um, and, and let me show you that, just so any of you that might uh, question. Go to About the Phone, 
and oh shoot, where is it? Firmware 2.1 update one. So it is 2.1. I don't know when 2.2 is coming out for it. Uh, when I did get it, it initially had an update that I think brought it to 2.1. I'm not really sure. I didn't pay much attention. Uh, I just updated it. Um, but other than that, not a bad phone. Just it's got to be for someone that wants a an inexpensive Android phone with a QWERTY keyboard. Um, and, and it's okay, but we'll do a full review after I've used it for a while. Maybe my impressions will change a little bit, um, and, and there could be some trade-offs, such as maybe a longer battery life, things like that. This is Aaron with Zolotech. Please subscribe and comment, and feel free to ask any questions. I'll try and answer those for you. We'll see you next time.